Hello everyone, my name is Scott C. Warren of UFOSightingsDaily.com and what we're looking at the polar region of Saturn. Uh, this was taken during November 10, 2006 and this is an in infrared. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Stop and look very carefully at the GIF over here. Can you see the triangle shaped structure under there? Sure, you see the massive, massive glossy ball dome in the middle. Everyone sees that. Um, of course, NASA is never going to uh, talk about this. Uh, a reader emailed me the other day. He's a professor in psychology. I don't want to say his name because he is employed at a university, and universities tend to frown on our kind of uh, research. But he is really well known, and he's absolutely amazing in this. He caught this, and look at this. Look at the structures here. Can you see the triangle shaped structure? It goes down, over, and across. Remember, the triangle doesn't uh, rotate. The triangle doesn't rotate. The rotating you see of the triangle is the rotating of Saturn itself. However, you also see the rotation of the cloud. So you have to take two rotations into account here. And uh, he did that. He, he focused it so you can only see the rotation of the clouds without seeing the rotation of the triangle. You see the triangle line here moving slightly. You really, really do. Uh, but uh, check this out. It's absolutely amazing. Here is the site he pointed me to. And the rotation of the planet has been accounted for so the triangle won't rotate. Now you only see the rotation of the clouds going around. And remember, infrared can see through clouds. Now, can you see the triangle shaped formation there. Okay, it looks like this right over here. It's right here and over. Now, I don't have the skills to enlarge this GIF. I tried to do it myself, and when I did increase its size by two and a half times, it actually stopped. It halted, so it would not work halfway through. Um, but it was very interesting. If you have the skills to enlarge this, please put the URL below the post and or below the video so we can find it. Uh, it would be very interesting in seeing if anyone could re-digitalize this and make it more clear. But for some reason, below the cloud cover is a massive, a massive size triangle under there. Okay, guys, you really got to look at this site. You got to click on this site because it's absolutely amazing. There was a lot of work that went into this. Uh, he accounted for the rotation of the planet as well as the rotation of the clouds. If you're interested in the website, here is the URL. Uh, go there, check it out, and maybe you could find a way to enlarge this and increase its detail so we can really, for the first time ever, see this in high detail. I tried to make it in high detail, but uh, the GIF I increased in size failed. Uh, I don't have skills with GIFs very well. GIF is a series of photos put together to make a movie. You can open it very easily and adjust the size, but when I adjust the size, it fails halfway through. So um, come to this site, check it out, and can you see the triangle now? Can you see the triangle now that the planet's not rotating? See, the triangle's not moving. It's the clouds that are moving around this big, glassy dome. Why does NASA never talk about the glass dome? Nobody ever talks about that. Anyway, it's incredible. It's really, really incredible. So uh, this doctor in psychology uh, pointed this out to me that the structures are in a triangle shape around this giant, giant circle region. Um, he didn't say much about the circle region. Uh, it does look like a eye or a giant glass city dome of some short sort, but if it is, it's many, many times larger than Earth. It really is. Um, so if you can, please check out the website and tell us what you think about the structure, the triangle structure here on Saturn, on the polar region. All right, thank you very much.